Stepanakert or Kankendi, originally called Vararik, is the capital and the largest city of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, a de facto independent republic. According to the 2005 official census, the population of Stepanakert is 49,986, most of whom are ethnic Armenians. History Founding and Soviet era According to medieval Armenian sources, the settlement was first mentioned as Vararik, a name that remained in use until 1847, when it was renamed Kankendi. Azerbaijani sources generally say that the settlement was founded in the late 18th century by a Karabakh Khan, and was thus called Kankendi. In 1923 Kankendi was renamed Stepanakert by the Soviet government to honor Stepan Shehom Yan, ethnic Armenian leader of the 26 Baku Commissars, and, after the Shusha pogrom had resulted in major destruction at Shusha, the former regional capital, Stepanakert was made the capital of the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast. In time, Stepanakert grew to become the region's most important city. Its population rose from 10,459 in 1939 to 33,000 in 1978. In 1926, municipal authorities adopted a new city layout designed by the prominent Armenian architect Alexander Tamanian. Two additional designs for expansion were approved later on in the 1930s and 1960s, both of which retained Tamanian's initial plan. Several schools and two polyclinics were established, and an Armenian dramatic theater was founded in 1932 and named after Maxim Gorky. Stepanakert served as Nagorno-Karabakh's main economic hub, and by the mid-1980s there were 19 production facilities in the city. Nagorno-Karabakh War and Independence The political and economic reforms that General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev had initiated in 1985 saw a marked decentralization of Soviet authority. Armenians, in both Armenia proper and Nagorno-Karabakh, viewed Gorbachev's reform program as an opportunity to unite the two together. On February 20, 1988, tens of thousands of Armenians gathered to demonstrate in Stepanakert's Lenin Square to demand that the region be joined to Armenia. On the same day, the Supreme Soviet of Nagorno-Karabakh voted to join the Armenian SSR a move staunchly opposed by the Soviet Azerbaijani authorities. Relations between Stepankit's Armenians and Azerbaijanis, who supported the Azerbaijani government's position, deteriorated in the following years and as a result, nearly all of the Azerbaijanis fled the city. After Azerbaijan declared its independence from the Soviet Union in 1991, Stepanakert was renamed by the Azerbaijani government back to Kankendi as part of a campaign against communism and as erification. Fighting broke out over control of Nagorno-Karabakh which eventually resulted in Armenian control of the region and a connecting corridor to Armenia, to the west. Prior to the conflict, Stepanakert was the largest city of the NKAO, with a population of 70,000 out of a total 189,000. By early 1992, that figure had dropped to 50,000. During the war, the city suffered immense damage from Azeri bombardment, especially in early 1992 when the Azerbaijanis used the town of Shushi as an artillery fire base to fire Grad missiles against it. So destructive was the damage caused by the incessant bombardment that a journalist for Time noted in an April 1992 article that scarcely a single building had escaped damage in Stepanakert. The Azerbaijani military staged several ground attacks against the city, which were successfully repulsed by Armenian forces. It was not until May 9, 1992, with the capture of Shusha, that the ground bombardment ceased. The city, nevertheless, continued to suffer aerial bombardment for the remainder of the war. There has been an unofficial ceasefire observed since 1994. Climate 
Stepanakert has a semi-arid climate according to the True Arthur Climate Classification System. In the month of January, the average temperature drops to 0.5 degrees Celsius. In August, it averages around 22.6 degrees Celsius. Economy Stepanakert is the center of the economy of Artsakh. Prior to the Nagorno-Karabakh War, the economy of Stepanakert was mainly based on food processing industries, silk weaving and winemaking. The economy was severely damaged during the war. However, in recent years, the economy has been developed mainly due to investments from the Armenian diaspora. Most developed sectors of Stepanakert and the rest of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic are tourism and services. Several hotels have been opened by diaspora and Armenians from Russia, USA and Australia. Artsakh Bank is the largest banking services provider in Nagorno-Karabakh, while the Karabakh Telecom is the leading provider of mobile telecommunications and other communication services. Stepanakert is also home to many large industrial firms including the Stepanakert Brandy Factory, Artsakh Berry Food Products and Artsakh Footwear Factory. Construction is also one of the leading sectors in the city. The Artsakh Heck Company is the leading firm in construction, while the Base Metals Company is the leading in mining and building materials products. Education. Stepanakert is the center of educational institutions in Nagorno-Karabakh. Currently, five higher educational institutions are operating in the city. Artsakh State University, originally founded in 1969 as a branch of the Baku Pedagogical Institute. In 1973, it was renamed Stepanakert Pedagogical Institute and following the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh in 1992, it received its current status. The university offers courses spread across seven departments and has an attendance level of 4,500. Stepanakert Campus of the Armenian National Agrarian University, Grigor Narakatsi University, Mesrup Mashtots University, Georgian Institute for Applied Arts. Many new schools in Stepanakert were opened during the last decade with the help of the Armenian diaspora. Existing schools were also renovated with the donations of the diaspora and Armenians. The Artsakh State Museum in Stepanakert has an important collection of ancient artifacts and Christian manuscripts. The large monument known as Weara Mountains located at the north of Stepanakert is the symbol of the city and the self-proclaimed Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. Transportation Bus Stepanakert is served by a number of regular mini-bus lines. Old Soviet-era buses have been replaced with new modern buses. Regular trips to other provinces of Nagorno-Karabakh are also operated from the city. Air Stepanakert is served by the nearby Stepanakert Airport, north of the city near the village of Avanyan. In 2009, facilities reconstruction and repair work began. Though originally scheduled to launch the first commercial flights on May 9, 2011, Karabakh officials postponed a new reopening date throughout the whole of 2011. In May 2012, the director of the NKR's Civil Aviation Administration, Tigran Gabrielian, announced that the airport will begin operations in summer 2012. However, the airport still remains closed due to political reasons. The OSC Minsk Group, which mediates the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, reaffirmed that the operation of this airport could not be used to support any claim of a change in the status of Nagorno-Karabakh, and urged the sides to act in accordance with international law and consistent with current practice for flights over their territory. Railway Stepanakert used to be connected through a railway line with the Yevlak station on the baku tbilisi railway. However, trips between Azerbaijan and NKR are abandoned since the start of the war between the two sides. Demographics and Religion During the Soviet era, there were no traditional churches in Stepanakert. Although most of the population of the city were members of the Armenian Apostolic Church, 
The late 19th century Church of St. George was destroyed in 1936 to build the Stepanica Drama Theatre. Currently, the Church of St. Harkop opened in 2007 is the only church of the city. It was financed by benefactor nurses yet premium from Los Angeles. The church was consecrated on May 9, 2007, in honor of the 15th anniversary of the liberation of Shushi. The construction of the Stepanakit Cathedral of the Holy Protector Mother of God was launched on July 19, 2006. The cost of the project is around $2 million and the architect of the church is Gajic Yeranosian. However, the construction process was too slow due to the lack of financial resources. The inauguration of the church is expected to take place in September 2006. Sport Football is the most popular sport in Nagorno-Karabakh and the city has a well-built football stadium. Since the mid-1990s, football teams from Karabakh started taking part in some domestic competitions in the Republic of Armenia. Learn Iron Art Sack is the football club that represents the city of Stepanakert. The Artsakh National Football League was launched in 2009. The unrecognized Artsakh National Football Team was formed in 2012 and played their first competitive match against the unrecognized Abkhazia National Football Team in Sukhumi on 17 September 2012. The match ended with a 1-1 -to -one draw. The following month, on 21 October 2012, Artsakh played the return match at the Stepanakit Republic. Republican Stadium against Abkhazia, winning it with a result of 3-0. There is also interest in other sports, including basketball and volleyball. Karabakh sportsmen also take part with the representing teams and athletes in the Pan-Armenian Games, organized in the Republic of Armenia. International Relations Twin Towns, sister city Stepanakit is twinned with Montebello, United States. On 25 September 2005 Montebello, California and Stepanakit became sister cities. This prompted a complaint by the ambassador of Azerbaijan to the United States, Hafiz Pashayev, who sent a letter to California leaders, stating that the decision jeopardized peace talks between his country and Armenia. The letter was sent to then-California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, who deferred the letter to Montebello Mayor Bill Molinari since it concerned a local, not a state, issue. Molinari responded to Pashayev that the city would go ahead with its plans to inaugurate Stepanakert under the Sister City program. Stepanakert's relationship with Montebello is aimed at revitalizing the capital's economic infrastructure and building cultural and educational ties, as well as developing trade and healthcare between the two cities. Azerbaijan has described this as a contradictory foreign policy of the United States that purportedly supports the NKR government and Armenian aggression against Azerbaijan, Yerevan, Armenia, Yerevan and Stepanakert. The capitals of the two Armenian republics became sister cities after a partnership agreement signed on September 28, 2012 between the mayors of the two cities. San Sebastian, Spain. San Sebastian and Stepanakit signed a cooperation agreement on 15 September 2014. Notable people. Agabala Rigazadayevich, Azerbaijani musician. Nikola Yenikolapian, Soviet-Armenian chemist, academician. Arman Abagian, Armenian academic. Talman Hasanov, national hero of Azerbaijan. Don Askarian, Armenian filmmaker, Zori Balayan, Armenian writer, Robert Kocharian, second president of Armenia, Serz Sargzian, third president of Armenia, incumbent, Fakrad and Manifiv, Azerbaijani actor, Samvel Babayan, Armenian military general, Andre, Armenian singer, Vladimir Arzumanyan, Armenian singer, winner of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2010.